All right, Cyrus knows it's cold enough. We need to get the uh, heater going. The heater! This is, uh, let's get the brightest light on. Bright light. That's not it. There we go. So, this is my favorite part about the heater. Is that it is one button. Oops. There we go. It's this button right there. And, uh, you can even do it with one hand. Watch this. Oops. There we go. So now I, I technically I'm supposed to count the 30. So let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 30, right? And I think really the trick here is to just let it go long enough. And then when I let go, it's supposed to stay on. It's supposed to just ignite. It's never, ever, ever done it in one go. I've never held the button long enough. I've even held it for like two minutes and it like this thing, the little pilot light there is just going to go out. But I realized it's the second try that counts. So watch this. That, oh, I, uh huh. But if I, there we go. The second try is what counts. And if we count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. So, I kind of like watching it. Come on. technology what is that the cove the honeycomb the honeycomb of heat all right so enough of that so that's the heater I'm gonna tell you right now it was so cold last night uh, I got up, I checked the weather. Um, oh, there's the. Uh, it was so cold last night. Um, my sleeping bag is technically was originally rated for zero degrees, but I don't think it's rated for zero anymore because um, it's never really done me good anything below 30 these days. And uh, I really need to buy a new sleeping bag or ha get a new sleeping bag ASAP. But um, even with the, the dog and me all cuddled up in the hammock, um, I still needed to like reach over and turn the heater on about 3 o'clock uh, this morning um, because it was that freezing cold. And uh, hopefully it's not that cold tonight. I don't think it's going to be. But... Um, Man, oh man, oh man, was it cold last night, but I am so glad I had that heater. I feel really bad though because uh, every time I uh, use one of these propane canisters, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see me or not, but every time I use one of these propane canisters, um, I can recycle some of them, but not all of them, and then I just end up throwing the canister away, and then I just, I just feel bad because I know it's just a bad eco footprint you know I know it's a bad carbon footprint or however you want to put it but um, nevertheless uh, there if I'm in a city park there's no way I can collect enough wood it's not like being in the woods a city park is manicured there are a whole team of maintenance people out there collecting the wood as it falls off of the trees they're mowing the lawns uh, there's just no way I can possibly collect enough wood Especially here with all of the ice mud and the water, I can't find enough dry wood to um, actually burn in a um, 
collapsible wood burning stove. So the, the collapsible wood burning stove that's on the list is probably not, is probably the least of my concerns. I don't really need that. This is a much more practical item. It's something that I can actually turn on and off at will. I can turn it on in the canopy tent and it's not only going to warm me up and my tent up and my dog up, but it's also going to warm up my customers. Um, and it's going to warm up that canopy tent while we're making sales. And uh, that's, that's another thing that I, I, I couldn't burn a wood burning stove in the middle of the city in order to heat my customers. So this is, although it has a much higher carbon footprint, it is more practical. And that's another philosophical question that I've been dealing with as an urban camper is the difference between um, what is maybe morally correct and what is uh, possibly capitalistically correct. Anyway, uh, more on those thoughts and those ideas and uh, more about like um, some of the practicalities of what you can and cannot do in a city park later. Right now, I'm just going to snuggle up and get warm. Good night.